Ashley Sandrine and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a video with some of the products that JCat Beauty has sent me and yeah, I'm just trying on the products and doing a first impressions and I'm just watching them. I'm actually not really good at reviewing things like I'm not used to it yet. So please bear with me. I'm just doing this for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you guys want to see how I created this look then please continue watching. So as you can see, I kind of have my base already. I put a little bit of eyeshadow and my foundation and concealer, but I don't have my brows yet. And we're gonna be starting with this one from JCat. It's the Brow List Style Your Brow Gel Set. And it says here it's long lasting, aqua proof, and smudge proof. And then it has two colors inside, which are brown and dark brown. And then it also comes with a spoolie brush. So when you put it out, it looks like this. So those two shades are there and then the spoolie is there as well. And we're gonna be trying it out. I'm probably gonna try the lighter shade. Or maybe I can mix it up. Or nah. Maybe I'll just try this one first and let's see if it's like super dark. But if it's not, then I'd use this. I'm gonna put it at the back of my hand. So this is how it looks like. Hold on. There. And I think I think this one is already okay for me, like the color. I'm gonna try using the spoolie that comes with it. It has a spoolie and then it has a brush on the other end. So I'm gonna brush my brows first. Then I'm dipping the brush on the back of my hand with the product. I'm just going to be outlining my brows first. But it does glide on really easily. And I think it's blendable. Wait, we'll try it. I don't think I'm actually going to add the darker color anymore. I think it looks fine. Um, it's actually pretty easy to use and it's um, very buildable. And it also just requires a little, so a little goes a really long way for this product because it is very pigmented, so you don't really need a lot. And I think you'd be able to use this for a long time if you guys buy it. So we're going to be doing the other brow as well. So this is the first thing that I always do when I do my brows. I always outline them first and then I just fill it in afterwards. Let me know if you guys want an eyebrow tutorial. Please comment it down below so that I'd know and maybe I could film one really soon. And then you can always brush it at the front especially just so that it doesn't look as harsh. And it gives off a gradient effect. So this is how the brow list looks on me with the brown shade which is the lighter one. I did forget to show you how the dark brown shade looked like, so I'm gonna be putting it at the back of my hand just so that you guys can see. It's a really, really dark brown, kind of like near black already. So this is for the ones with maybe like a darker hair color as well. Can you see that? There you go. This is how the dark brown one looks like. Next, I am moving in with the eyes. So, Jcat sent me three of the three of these Prism Metal Chrome Eye Mousses. Jcat Beauty Prism Metal Eye Mousse offers maximum metallic foil effect that creates a unique look. Let the holographic metal shimmer do the magic on your eyes. It comes in 18 shades. They sh they sent me three shades. So the first one is this coil braid shade. So it's kind of like a copper color. So this is how coil braid looks like. The next one is this one in Pinky Promise and I feel like 
this is more of like a pinky I feel like this is more of like a pinkish tone it's kind of it looks kind of white but I feel I can see like pink specks in it the last one is this one in the shade called pop and lock in so this one's more on the purple side if you guys have seen the Pantone color for 2018 I feel like this is kind of similar to that it's kind of like the purplish tone it's like a galaxy color so this is how the purple looks like um, in the shade called pop and lock in and then I will be swatching it for you um, for the coil braid I'm just using my finger so it's actually very since it's a mousse it's very like uh, soft it's kind of like a soft matte finish I feel like um, and I feel like it's very pigmented so this is how coil braid looks like can you see that it's a really really nice color that you can use especially when you want like a bold look or like smoky eyes Okay, next I'm using the Pinky Promise. This one isn't as pigmented as the first one, but I think you would be able to use this as a highlight, like an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. So it's just white with like a little bit of pink. But it's pretty. So this is how it looks. This one. And then for the last one, I am using Pop and Lock In. I feel like this one's really gonna be pigmented as well. Oh, it's not purple. It's actually bluish. So, that was my mistake, sorry. It doesn't look like the Pantone color, it's blue. So, this is how the blue one looks like. And I feel like out of these three shades, I would be using these two more than the blue one because I'm not very into the bold look but if you guys are I think these are really nice um, it's very soft and it's very pigmented and I do like the texture to it because it is a mousse so that's kind of different from all the usual eyeshadows that we see which is just powder and I am going to be putting on coil braid on my eyelids. So I just want to try it. I'm probably going to put it here on this side, like just to add a little bit more color. So let's see if I could use a brush for this. So I'm just focusing this on the outer V of my lids so that it gives a more smoky effect. So if you don't want it like too dark, then you can just put a little bit, it's very buildable. So this is how coil braid looks on my eyes. And I think it's really pretty. I just wanted to zoom you in so I could show you this one, the ones on the sides. And then, I'm going to be using the Prism Metal Pinky Promise for the inner corners of my lips. I'm just using my fingers. Oh no. So that is how it looks like if I use it as an inner corner highlight. And I think... <coughs> <coughs> I think it looks so pretty sorry excuse me I think it looks so pretty as an inner corner highlight I think I am going to be adding it under my brow bone as well so I'm using this flat brush from Zoeva it's a luxe smoky shader brush another thing for the eyes that Jcat sent me was also this holographic 3d eye topper and it says it's a colorful dual chrome pearlescent liquid eye topper so you can put this on top of your shadows and I'll be showing you guys how it looks like 
So this one is in the color called Unicorn Hype. So it looks... Oh, sorry. It looks kind of purple from what I see. And if you guys are in for the bold look, I, I think this is something that you can use. So this is how the purple one looks like. I am showing you guys the Lip Tonics Extreme Shimmer Topper that they sent me. So they sent me these and they come in, I think, 24 shades. And they were so generous in giving me six of these shades. So they do have name shades, but the ones written here are the numbers. So there's... So the Lip Tonics Extreme Shimmer Topper is a weightless, high shine gloss that contains light reflective shimmers and it will take away any of your matte lipsticks to to a shimmer look and can be easier to switch up your look from day to night. So if you guys are into the gloss, which is kind of coming back recently, then this is perfect. So the first one is the LTX 109 and it looks like this. I am going to be swatching it for you guys. This looks pretty. It kind of looks like a rose gold color. It is so beautiful, you guys. I didn't expect it to be this pigmented. I thought it was just going to be gloss. Like, you know, those plain glosses with just a little bit of glitter. But look at how pretty this is. It's very pigmented and it gives a nice shimmer. And I think you could wear this alone. And it would look super duper nice. I was actually planning on using their lipstick and their eye uh, and their lip pencil first as a base and then putting these on. But I think you could do this, like you could wear it alone. Okay, the next one is the LTX 110. Here into the pinks, then this is really nice as well. The other one is more of like an everyday color, I think. I could wear that more. Next one is the LTX114. This is how it looks like. It doesn't really smell like anything. Kind of just smells a little bit of like chemical-ish. But it's not that strong. So it doesn't matter. The next one is the LTX116. So the LTX 116 is kind of like the LTX 109, except this one's a little bit more on the gold side, I think. The LTX 118. And then the last one is the LTX 122. Kind of looks like a really light pink shade. Oh, I like this. It's not too pink, so I feel like you could put this on top of your nude lipsticks. So this is how it looks like. It's this one. Out of all these shades, I think my top three would be this one. Um, it's the LTX 122. And then the LTX 116, which is this one. As you can see, I'm into the nudes more, so... It's because I know I can use it on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I also like the LTX 109, which is the first one I swatched, which is this one. I am probably going to try putting on lipstick first, their matte liquid lipstick, and then I'm gonna be putting the LTX 116 on top of it. I am using their Holy Addiction Pro Define Lip Liner in the shade 212 light brown so it looks like this it's a very nude mauve shade after lining my lips i am just filling it in with the lip finity um, in the shade champagne buzz so th this is actually one of my favorite lip products from jcat they're really affordable i think around 299 I think and it does really have good staying power as you can see it's very used and it doesn't it doesn't really smell like anything but yeah I've used this a lot of times and it hasn't failed me yet so 
If you guys are looking for an affordable matte lip product, this one is really nice. So this is how Champagne Buzz looks like on me, but we'll be adding the Lip Tonics Shimmer Topper in 116. Let's see how it looks. How it looks like on me. They also sent me this holographic lip cream, but it is a little bit more on the gold side. I feel the the color is called Dream On Rapunzel, and I'll be showing you guys what it looks like. So this gives me like cosmic vibes, <laughs> like a cosmic vibes look, and it's very gold. If you guys are into like gold, I feel like you can put this in the middle of your lips. This is how it looks like. Okay, next, they also sent me their Rock Glitz Diamond Dazzle Liquid Liner in Matte Black. It has a triangular shape packaging. And you can open it through this side and then it's just a plain black um, container. And then it has this tip to it. It's a liquid liner, so there. this is how it looks like. So this is how it looks like now that it's dry. So after that, I am just using some of the things that I actually bought from them just to complete my look. So this wasn't sponsored or anything, but yeah, this is one of my favorites. This is called the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in the shade Twilight 102. I think I've used this in a couple of my videos. It is really, really nice and it's super affordable. I think $599 for a highlighter, which is pretty good. And it doesn't run out easily. Like I've had this for quite a while now and so far I haven't tipped the pan yet. And then I also have this Love Struck Blusher Plus Bronzer in the shade called Snookums. This is how it looks like. Just a very pinkish shade. So I'm just using a huge powder brush that isn't branded. I just bought it in Bangkok before. And the Love Struck blush. And I'll be putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I am just moving in with the highlighter. I'm just using a Morphe M310 brush. And then lastly, this is also a new product from JCAT. They they sent me the makeup setting spray infused with cucumber and it says spray, set, and go. Um, here, it comes with three different variants. So the first one is Wildflower, and then the second one is Aloe Vera, and this is the third one, which is Cucumber. The Wildflower one is a matte setting spray. This just helps soothe and refresh your skin, and it helps your makeup last all day. So this is the finished look, and if you guys enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe as well if you haven't yet. And yeah, let me know the other brands you'd want me to uh, try and if there are new things that are out in the market that you would want me to review then just let me know Just wanted to give a huge thank you to Jcat for being so generous and sending me all these products so that I could try them And if you guys were wondering I got these really really cute earrings from an Instagram shop called purple water ph I'll probably just type down their name below the description box if you guys want to follow them They have like really nice earrings and they also have good perfumes as well um yeah i will see you guys in my next video every friday 7 p.m thank you for watching loves